Hey what's up guys this is Sohan and you are watching your technical spark channel friends uh, before we start with the actual our sophos endpoint protection you know as well as xdr configuration it's very important for you guys to be a familiar with the you know sophos console so in this particular video what i'm going to do i'll basically going to demonstrate all the options which is available in sophos console and same uh, options we you know we are going to touch in our upcoming videos so that when we'll do a configuration so that you will be very much used to so without further ado let's get started after this small intro video so guys let me open my sophos console first so uh, whenever you log into your sophos console you will see this, you know central dashboard okay but in this particular section where exactly we need to go we under the my products we are going to click on endpoint endpoint protection okay and you know before i start let me just go to the installer and show you so there are total two agent setup file is present one is endpoint protection which is complete malware protection okay and second is hdr sensor installer okay because our entire series is dependent on xdr right so that is the reason this particular part is also covered in the endpoint protection but i cannot directly start with uh, xdr because at the end xdr is also dependent on your traditional antivirus right so let's go to the very first option that is dashboard so in dashboard guys here are some you know graphs you will see uh, the first one is you know default dashboard which is you know created by uh, sophos and the second one is admin so based on our requirement you, we can create you know n number of you know uh, apply the filters and create the data as per our requirement device and user summary okay how many users we have so currently only the i am uh, which is logged in user which is available here so that's the reason it's showing one count but so far we haven't installed our agent on any of the machines so that's the reason uh, you know uh, it's showing grayed out right because it has no device correct and under device also we couldn't see any device which is available now web control so once we started configuring the policy then we will see this data in much uh, better way now when i go to the reports so there are so many reports are available guys so this is also we are going to touch once we start the policy configuration and you know uh, started creating the use cases so that uh, we'll get some data which we can uh, you know fetch or generate the report okay to view what are the things are going on in our environment the third one is people so people is basically the number of users means if you integrated your active directory or manually added you know or customly created any user then all this thing can be all users can be found in this particular console now let me go to the computers in computers whichever is the devices are installed with suppose endpoint agent okay all those will be listed here and under the unmanaged so this is kind of a discovery okay and here basically you can create group for your computers so it will be easier for you know if you want to enforce any policy or something like that in multiple pieces so instead of selecting one system at a time you can create you know group so that it will be easier for you know policy management stuff now let me go to the policies under policies here you will find all the policies which is available okay so basically we are going to play in this particular policy only like threat protection peripheral control application control web control update management windows firewall so these are the you know six policies are available in which we are going to play around now under settings so settings what are the things can be done here right so there are some dlp rules content list under administration uh, directory service base okay by the way guys uh, this particular uh, how exactly you can integrate your active directory with uh, sophos cloud this is something which i'm going to demonstrate in my next video okay now again the role management api token sign in settings so so many things are available guys uh, which we are going to touch upon when we hit the settings uh, you know option and installer so this is basically i just explained you guys this for the uh, this particular you know uh, things if you click here it will download the setup for windows and second one is for the mac and here are the you know uh, mac and windows sensor file for xdr agent and here some emdm profiles are available okay so if you want to do a deployment so this particular things is going to be very helpful for you and when you click on choose components so here it will prompt you what exactly you would like to you know go ahead with 
so let's say uh, let's i would like to download the setup file or create the setup file for windows uh, installer right so instead of downloading the separate sensor what you can do you can simply click on this particular first option under windows and detection and respond this installer will remove third party security software and when you click on xdr so suppose intercept x advanced with xdr okay so this particular set entire setter will will get downloaded and you don't need to install separate sensor okay so this is how the things are going to work now let me cancel this so hopefully you guys now you because there is not much configuration since this is on cloud based so lots of things are already been taken care by sopos or we can say oem uh, itself and we have very limited options it's not like on premise when i used to work on sopos enterprise console okay earlier when i initially started my career uh, or we, we can say working on sopos console so at that time we, i used to work on sopos enterprise console so that uh, and the version was somewhere on s7 or 8 something uh, this is back in 2025 so yeah but nowadays the things are very much simple guys and that time we used to very much struggle and this this particular product is also very much fine tuned okay and hopefully you all guys are really interested like me to explore the all the things which is available here if yes then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe guys and any middle point okay if you think okay i want or you want me to demonstrate any specific use cases then and if you are an insider member then yeah for insider member there is a privilege whenever you, whenever you guys comment on uh, youtube videos your post is getting highlighted to me so based on your inputs i will be able to create your you know video on your topic all through there are lot, so many comments which is available or uh, i i am getting on everyday basis but it's get difficult for me to answer each and every comment but yeah as always i definitely try to respond each and every comment but the uh, fact is uh, the people who have you know took the membership irrespective of whether it's a supporter elite insider pro vip but you guys will get the immediate response because all your posts are getting highlighted on the top in the comment section when i you know uh, sit further you know uh, providing the response to you guys so become member and get the benefit of all the things which is available here so that's it guys this is what i just wanted to walk you through with the console so that when we'll start the configuration you guys will be the familiar with all the options which is available here so hopefully you have all subscribed and enable the bell icon so that whenever i'll post new video you will guys will get the notification and yeah that's it thanks for watching this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye